Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to be downloading some songs right here for your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. So first of all, we have to go into our music app. So just search for that. So here we go. We just search for music. Here it is. It is an app that's pre-installed on your phone. And I know a lot of people erased it because they don't use it. So just re-download it if you don't have it. But this is your main music app. It kind of replaced iTunes from before. But anyways, down here below, you're going to see Listen Now, Radio, Library, and then Search. Just tap on that search. Once you tap on search, it's going to go directly to your library. You don't want to search your library. You want to search Apple Music. So select that. That's your first option. On the top left-hand corner, you're going to see that, Apple Music. And then type in what you're looking for. So for example, if you're looking for a specific artist, we can go there. And then just go into Artist. From there, you can choose an album or just download a single song. Most of you will want the album, so just scroll down. And you're going to see all the albums right here. And you can even scroll down and take a look at playlists and so on. So once again, once you want to actually purchase something, just go on from here. So I'm going to give you another example. Let's just go back. So if you're looking for kids songs, for example, we can go to Coco Melon, Artist. Then from here, we're going to have a ton of songs. So there's top songs, albums, and so on. I'm going to tap on albums. And then from here, we have a ton of them to download. So if you found the one that you want, so for example, this one, and you want to just get it, you can go on and purchase it. And yes, by purchasing it, that means you don't need to have your Wi-Fi or just internet in general in order to play these because you can just download it on your phone or your iPad up a touch and then you can play it anytime. So to do that, you can go down here below. It's going to say buy on iTunes store. Now, let me just highlight up here. It's always going to tell you about Apple Music, but Apple Music, it's a monthly thing. So you have to pay forever if you want to listen to songs. However, this way, it's so you guys can actually purchase a song or an album. In this case, we can listen forever. And even if you decide to delete the whole album, you can just re-download it anytime because it's always going to be under your account. Plus, once again, you can listen to this offline. Anyways, right now we're just going to tap on Buy on iTunes Store. We can go into Showing App Store. And yes, you will get that message if you don't have iTunes. So it's just going to go on and iTunes Store is going to download. So let's just open that up. So right here on our iTunes Store is where you guys can go on and purchase every single song that you want. Just one by one or just buy the whole album that says $7.99 up here, which is cheaper. You can just go and tap that $7.99. It's going to ask you if you want to purchase this. Just tap on purchase. It will ask you to sign in with the Apple ID. Then it's just going to start downloading. And then, yes, you can listen to this offline. So this is how to download songs from your music app. But at the same time, you are technically downloading it from your iTunes store. So right now you guys can see that it's actually downloading every single one of them since we purchased these. And we're just going to see that until it downloads every single thing. We can stop it at any time and delete any song that we want at any time as well. And we can re-download it for free because we already purchased it. It's all ours. So as long as you guys see play, it means it's already downloaded. You can play it again. You can play this offline. You do not need internet or anything like that. And yes, you can play it right here from this store or you can go back to your music. So right now under our music app, we can just go into Coco Melon because we search for that and it's under our library at the moment, obviously. So we can tap on it and play any one of these. We can see that they're good to go. You're going to see that download arrow beside them. So at this point, you could remove it at any point. I just want to show you those options and you can make a playlist, share a song and so on. You can even share play if you like to. And I just wanted to highlight that you have that icon with the download arrow on it, which is uh, just a down arrow because that's on your phone at the moment. But if I tap on anything else that you don't have like this, it's not going to show me that as you guys can see. But anyways, as far as this video goes, we are all done. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.